What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to another video and in this video we're gonna be talking about Gemini Man. So it took me a little bit to get back to the theater to check this movie out. It's just one of those that I really wanted to see but definitely just kept going to see something else in the meantime and I'm happy that I finally got to go check it out. This film stars Will Smith, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Clive Owen and the basic premise without any spoilers is that you have the character played by Will Smith who is this really badass assassin. He's the top of his game and he essentially wants to retire and after he's retired essentially the organization finds out that he knows a little bit too much and they want to now try to kill him. It's the people he was working for want to kill him and he doesn't really know why. And not long into the film, they send an assassin that is just as good as him, if not better. And when he finds out who this assassin is, it turns out to be a younger version of him. So the basic premise of this film is that they have a clone of Will Smith, a young Will Smith versus old Will Smith or, you know, current day Will Smith. I won't say old Will Smith because he still looks really good for his age. But on an overall level, what I'll say about this film is it's just fine. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a solid action film. It's nothing crazy it's nothing terrible and you know I, I really got to stress the fact that it's really not terrible or bad you know I saw a lot of reviews about this movie leading up to it they were really negative there was a lot of negativity about this film leading up to it I even saw some reviewers calling it the worst if not some, one of the worst scripts of the entire year which I just can't agree with there's been so many bad movies I've watched this year or far more forgettable films and this film is kind of your just your run-of-the-mill action film there's some really awesome action set pieces in this film I really enjoyed Will Smith in this this role and just the film in general everybody gives a solid performance there's nobody that stood out as like a bad actor in this film the way the film looks and the way it's shot I was all about it now I'll get a little bit more into how it's shot in a moment but just from watching it on an overall level I enjoyed it it has some solid action but the story is just fine there's nothing crazy there are some slow moments there's some things about it that I think could have been expanded upon a little bit more some character development that definitely could have been expanded upon but on an overall level I think this is a perfect watch for something like on Netflix Hulu a red box kind of rental I don't think this is something you need to rush out to the theaters to go watch I don't think it's one of Will Smith's big standout films and roles but I enjoyed him in the film he's similar to The Rock for me when I watch a movie like this The Rock can be in a movie that can just be terrible it doesn't even matter what the contents of the film are but he's such a charismatic and likable actor and they give so much to each and every role that it doesn't really matter you can still enjoy the film and i think if you're a fan of will smith that you'll enjoy this film just because he does give a believable solid performance in this film one of the biggest praises i can give this film outside of the performances and some of the cool action in this film is the CGI done on a younger Will Smith. The de-aging that they did on Will Smith in this film is really solid. It's really, really believable. The moments that they're together on screen, I really enjoyed. However, there are a few moments during some action sequences and some just other moments that have this younger Will Smith in those scenes where he does look kind of like a video game, kind of like CG cutscene. And I would say, Top of the line CG video game cutscenes. Not one of the weaker video game cutscenes, but you know, there's a lot of video games these days that look so photorealistic. And I would say whenever it did look at its weakest, it looked somewhat like a video game, but one of the really good video games. And on an overall level, I thought it was solid. It's nothing crazy. It's not something to run to the theaters to go watch. It's not something that I would, you know, have paid IMAX money to go see. But as somebody who has AMC A-list, if you have AMC A-list as well, and you just are kind of looking for something to go check out, and you like Will Smith, I don't think you'll be completely disappointed. I think there's some really solid action here, like I said, and a really solid performance from Will Smith with some good actual funny moments that I actually did enjoy. However, like I said, there are things that could have been expanded upon and fleshed out a little bit more. There are characters you just don't care about, and I'll say that that's the biggest thing, is there are characters that come and go in this film, or just a lot of characters overall, that you don't really care about. You're not really invested in them, but I was into what was happening. I was into seeing what would happen, and I was mainly invested in what was happening with Will Smith's character and the younger version of him, this clone of him. That relationship throughout the film and just the tension between them is definitely the most exciting part of the movie, and I think that the trailers definitely pushed that. And yeah, I really enjoyed that element of the film. I really enjoyed seeing them interact, the conversations that they would have, you know, trying to convince the younger one that he is a clone of this older version. And I won't get too deep into spoilers, but yeah, that, that, that relationship I think was the strongest part of the movie and I think that they really again could have expanded upon things a lot more there, there was so much about this film and the premise that was so much cooler than the overall outcome of the film But again, I really don't feel like this movie is nearly as negative or as bad as people are saying it is I would say the one other thing that I can't really criticize or really give my opinion on is the way that this film was shot Now I mentioned that I would dive into that a little further earlier in the review But if you don't know this about this film, this film was actually shot in 120 frames per second the typical film is shot in 24 frames per second. Typical movies you go and watch in the theaters are going to be 24 frames per second. So from what I hear, with 120 frames per second, it was just 
super distracting. Everything kind of looked like it was happening right in front of you. And for some people that was gonna work for them. And for a lot of people they said it was just too crisp. It was too smooth looking and everything just felt just too crisp on screen where it was kind of distracting. You weren't able to really just watch the film. We missed the opportunity to see that. Our theater was in fact playing it in 120 frames per second. But we missed that opportunity and I really hate that we did. And now I just got to see it in the normal 24 frames per second. So I kind of just didn't even have to deal with that as a criticism when I was watching this film. I just thought I'd mention that for anybody who did check it out in 120 frames per second. Let me know down below. What did you think about that? Did you find it as distracting as some have said they found it? For me, I thought the movie was solid. Nothing crazy. Don't run out to the theaters to see it if you're going to be paying full price. If you have something like AMC A-List or some other movie theater subscription service, maybe it's something that you would definitely enjoy. If you're a fan of Will Smith, I can't see why you would hate it or not like it at all. He's a charismatic and cool action star, and I think that that definitely comes across in this film, though the story is lacking at times, and there are character development and character decisions that just kind of feel like, eh, characters you don't really care about too, too much. This is a perfect sit down and chill Netflix and just red box kind of watch but nothing crazy and nothing you have to run to the theaters for so yeah guys that's gonna be my thoughts on gemini man starring will smith did you like this movie did you not like this movie let me know all your thoughts down below and if you really didn't like this movie what about it was so bad for you i'm very curious and genuinely i you know I, I know like i i know i definitely said that i don't agree with that mindset but i'm definitely curious to have that discussion with people i can respect where some people would definitely just not be about this but i really didn't find it to be nearly as bad as some reviewers were saying but yeah guys that's gonna be my thoughts leave those comments down below hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing if you enjoy this kind of content and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.